going on in the hood. We heard it been a lot of drama in this hood, a lot of police brutality, a lot of just all type of trouble, a lot of things going on, a lot of nonsense going on that shouldn't be happening. Well, I'm going to go in and I'm going to talk to one of the brothers and find out what type of incidents is going on and what's the reason why, you know, my man complaining. He said he lost a couple of teeth from a police brutality beating. That's well, right now, I'm going to find out what it really is and what it's all about. What, what happened, brother? Can you tell me your name? All right, I'm Sir Thomas, bye. I'm Sir Thomas. All right, listen, dig this here. All right, I don't know what type of motherfucker they think I am, right? Dig this here. What, what the whole deal is, guess what? You got a lot of racism, you understand what I'm saying? And guess what? The racism ain't involving motherfucking crackers, you understand what I'm saying? This shit here involving motherfucking Hispanic motherfucking racist fucks. You feel me? Hey, as a matter of fact, you listen, it's right across the streets right there. Right there across the streets. That, that, uh huh, that's the building right there. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers, you understand what I'm saying? This motherfucker here, he's a city of Miami police officer. Don't have no goddamn jurisdiction over here on the beach. But guess what? Hey, anytime he sees some goddamn black people sitting over here, uh, you understand what I'm saying? Or, uh, or, uh, or, uh, or. Uh, or, or, or homeless people, or what they think is homeless people, you understand what I'm saying? Me, I'm not homeless. I got rent receipts in my pocket, you understand what I'm saying? Hey, I just got, hey, I left here for a year and a half, you feel me? And here I am, back here, trying to get them to do the best I can, got them, you know what I'm saying? See right there? That's where I work at. Right there, 1610 in College Avenue. Uh, Oceanside Rise. Oceanside Rise, that's where I work, bro. You feel me? Hey, I'm, I, hey, I'm out here hustling every day, trying to goddamn keep a roof on me and my girl's head. Hey, this is my baby right here. Listen, the other night, I mean, uh, on the 24th of, of, of May, guess what? I, listen, I got two teeth knocked out. You feel me? They took my goddamn phone. They took every goddamn thing from me. Because you know what? I had a Bluetooth in my ear, which they didn't know. Because I got a lot of dreads when I take this shit here down. They, you know, they, 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 hey, they thought I was, uh, this asshole over here, he, he, hey, he pulls up over here. My girl had just had a seizure, you feel me? And she was sitting here eating some McDonald's, you feel me? Because when you have a diabetic seizure, you know what I'm saying, you got to eat something or whatever. Dig this here. Hey, what happened, what happened is, uh, she, uh, after she had the seizure, I went and bought her the McDonald's and shit like this here. This fucking asshole, Miami, Miami, city Miami police officer, off duty, going to his residence, which he lived across the street from where I work, told me, God damn it, get lost. And I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? He went and parked this goddamn car over there in his res in, at his residence in the garage, come back, putting on goddamn leather gloves, challenging me to a fight. And I told him, I'm like, hey, listen, check this out, bro. When he, when he came across the street, I said, hey, listen, dig this here. Hey, I said, look, you got on leather gloves. You got a gun and a badge. You got a gun and a badge. What, who, you, who the fuck do you think you are? I said, if you want to really fight with me or challenge me, use that home. Why didn't you put on some shorts and some small fucking sneakers? And then I probably took you up on that challenge. This motherfucker, hey, so he, he come, because he was still in uniform. He didn't even change out his uniform. Hey, went to grab for me, and I, I, I pulled away from his ass. I said, look, you're not doing nothing to me, bro. I dialed 911. I the one made the 911 call. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And he went to jail. And, hey, and when, the, when, the nine, hey, when the police responded to this motherfucking shit, this was an a asshole. Officer King came up with Officer, uh, what his name is? Hackworth, Hackworth, Hackworth. He come up on the scene, you understand what I'm saying? They can't, hey, I ain't had, I, I ain't had time to even say shit. You feel me? The only thing they did was got them now, boom! Before I know anything, side of my face, slammed over the goddamn side of the goddamn car, on, on the hood of the car, you feel me? I felt my tooth in my mouth. And listen, I kept them up under my tongue because I didn't want to spit them out. And when they slam on the car, 
my, my phone fell out of my hand. And the reason why they took my goddamn phone because of some fact, they thought I was, he, he thought I was uh, taking pictures, which I wasn't. I had a Bluetooth in my ear. But let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. You know, I, I checked around with a couple of people in the hood, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And I asked a couple of questions to find out what it really was. You know, was it police brutality? And I hear a lot about the police in Miami is really, really, really bad. And I checked around town, I asked a couple of questions, and from what I heard was, this certain officer just been messing with you anyway. You've been singled out, exactly. you feel me? So because of his past. Because of, of his past? Because of his past. Not because. only him. But, but dig this here. Yeah. Here's the thing is, hey, this, this, this dickhead right here, he lives across the street. He feel like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he, he's a resident here. He don't have no jurisdiction to fuck with anybody over here. All these people here, see that, see that guy there? What, what kind of crime is he committing? None. Is he, is, is he homeless right there? Is he? I, you know what? I can't even say that. He might be drunk. He might just want to just lay down and relax. Okay. You feel me? But. Okay. Can, I, can, I, can I see you, see my man over there? Can y'all step aside right sure. there? Sure. So, so you saying when, when people just lay out and relax like this right here, you uh -huh. feel me? He say when people just lay out and relax like that right there, you know, he say. They let them go, but us, no, no. they take us to jail. So you say they think every black person is, is what? Homeless, drunks, drug addicts. Okay. Well, they got... have, there's Cubans that lay out here on the ground. They don't, they they don't, don't take them to jail. I notice I, I, I go around um, uh, the streets of Miami, I see a lot of people just laid out like that on the ground right here. What it is? I mean, what 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 it is? You think what are they just laid out on the ground or are they? He just chilling out. Okay. Hey, hey, he might live. He might live in the same building this motherfucking asshole to live in. Okay. You feel me? He don't okay. know. But guess what? Hey, you feel me? Hey, I got money in my pocket. You feel me? Okay. I got remember seats in my pocket. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But it's the thing. But hey, hey, his, his his thing is this right here. He's a racist ass right now, fucking. If, we were stand, if you were standing up in front of one of them stores up there, they'd right. be on the telephone calling the police. Mm -hmm. And he does that every day. But hey, he's a fucking asshole. But guess what? This, 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 the, the whole point, listen, the you know what? Is, he listen. has a past. But dig this here. Listen, past. I spent this five man, years, I spent five years in motherfucking. And turned his life around. I spent five years in motherfucking state penitentiary. And you know what? I didn't spend that time, got them jacking my dick. Mm. I spent my time, got them, you know, some of them studying the law. I was in the law line, baby. They used to call me goddamn F. Lee, baby, because I had a goddamn book full of goddamn, you know what I'm saying? A, 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 a pack of goddamn papers every day going to the law line, baby. You feel me? And anyhow, if they think that they gonna goddamn fuck with me and get away with it, you understand know what I'm saying? Not my goddamn teeth out. See, uh, I gotta hold my teeth up right now. So, so what you saying is, you ain't the one. You make money. You pay bills. You don't think life is free. You just don't lay out. You're a respected model citizen, the same type of person who could get a job, who raise kids, who cherish and adore and respect yourself, you feel me, who won't allow yourself to fall or go to any type of pathway that you may be vulnerable from, from being in pain and destruction, which may lead to happiness. So you find happiness in better ways, like staying away from drugs, being with your sweetheart right here, Exactly. Trying to walk the righteous pathway and be a respected model, model citizen just like the rest of the hard workers inside of uh, Miami. That's what you're saying. Exactly. But then guess what? This asshole over here, he he seen that. Nah, and I say asshole. They, hey, listen. Right I, now, hey, listen. Hey, right I, now, I, hey, listen. If he was there listen. and he seen this, he would call the police. Yeah, but guess, guess what? Listen, I've exhausted all my remedies. I've been to internal affairs, I've been to the fucking public corruption. You know, which is the state attorney's office. I've been to Florida law enforcement agency and all that. You feel me? Now, I'm, I'm waiting on to see what the outcome going to come up out of this shit here. But at the same time, I got a lawyer, Greg with Sam's, got, got, you know what I'm saying, that's going to got them handle all this shit. Guess what? I, like I told him a long time ago, 
Only thing y'all gonna do is guys ever have make me a rich ass motherfucking nigga on Miami Beach. You feel me? Yeah, hey. Right. Everybody makes mistakes. Dig this Whatever head. he did listen. in his past, that right. was his past. Hey. But listen. he worked it four years straight on a job. And yeah. it was taken away from him. So they just singling him out like he could be one of the guys that's laid on the ground or just then gave up on life. People gave up hope. Not You're not the one that then gave up hope. Uh, hell no, no, that's not me, bro. You got a dream. Yeah, of course. Guess what? Listen, check this out. Thanks. Hey, then you know what? This this arrest when they knocked my teeth out mm -hmm. and took my goddamn cell phone, with all my goddamn contact with with the world that I know, did this here. I don't think they did. They told me they the, was hey, take me listen. To jail. Oh, 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 oh! This motherfucking asshole told uh, that arresting officer Hank, uh, what name? Hackworth. He told her, said, "Bitch, <laughs> give up the phone. Give up the phone, or." Your ass going to jail right. with him. I'm not, you got to excuse me, I'm not laughing at what y'all going through. I'm just kind of laughing at, like, by you cussing, it's making me laugh, but I know we're going to edit it for you. But it's, it's like your slang is making me laugh, like, okay, I feel where my man coming from. Damn but, yeah, that's man. what's up. He called you a bitch and said give up the phone while you was having a seizure? Yeah, she was having phone, a seizure right here. His phone, right dropped, here. his phone dropped on the ground, and he went to step on it, but I caught it in time. And, and she, I tried to play like She you. picked up the phone. She got a witness. Oh, yeah. Wow, well, okay. Last night. All right. Last night. She wanted to talk about it. She did? Yeah. A, a case where a young lady got beat up. Well, oh, 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 uh, talking about the lady over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the same Okay, asshole. okay. Well, it was it was something else. It was something else. Yeah, that's right. I asked a couple of questions around here, and they said that an officer kicked the old lady that was laying on the ground. Some old lady was just laying on the ground. I guess she ain't got nowhere to stay, or maybe she gave up, or whatever the cause is. I don't she know, but she was laid on the ground. And she is a woman, and they say an officer kicked her, just... You know, it's hard to believe, but you feel me? Why don't you tell the story? And you say you got another witness right here. Why don't y'all tell us why? His bad, hey, his bad number is 2977. You understand what I'm saying? That's that fucking asshole that lives right there in that building right there. This motherfucker is a fucking creep from hell. That's what he is. But he's a racist ass motherfucker. He run all the black Right there. All the black people. That's his dad, when he yeah. see black people, when he see, he be getting ready to go to work. When he see black people over here, he tell them they got to leave. But well, why don't y'all walk over here with me? It's, I heard it was a witness over here that said she saw oh, the oh, officer oh, kick oh, this old lady. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, she was there? Oh, you saw that? You no, saw I, that I, was, I witnessed something else. Wow, you witnessed something else? No. Wow. Okay. Well, why don't you uh, tell the world what you witnessed uh, going on down here? Well, I actually got arrested myself Thursday night, um, and it was me and two other people who witnessed it. We were in a hotel room right around here somewhere, and um, it was two. It was it was all the other people that was in there was white, and then they brought two black girls in there. And um, one of the black girls was real upset, and she was, you know, frustrated about the situation, and she was kind of talking a little bit of shit, but it didn't deserve nothing, you know what I'm saying, major, other than a, you know, shut up and sit down. So the, one of the officers went to go grab her and pull her into the bathroom, I guess, calm her down, and she kind of jerked away. She was drunk. She lost her balance and fell into the wall, and I guess the other cops on the other side thought it was, you know, worse than it really was. I don't know what they thought, but um, there was probably six or seven police in there, and they all started beating the shit out of this little black girl, like, maybe 10, 15 pounds bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, they, the, there was one guy who came back and, like, you know what I'm saying, he brought his hand all the way back, fired on her, hit her in her face. They was kicking her. They kicked her in her face and her pussy and her ass and her side. Wow. Her, whole, her whole entire face was completely fucked up. Um, and, I, you know what I'm saying, we went to jail together and I continued seeing her and they weren't doing anything for this girl. And they just, she was completely bruised and tore to pieces. And the whole time they were beating her, she was just telling, she was just saying, I'm not, I'm not going to fight back. I'm not fighting. Back. I know y'all doing this because I'm black. I know that's the only reason y'all doing it because, because you know, I went in there and I was mad they arrested me because they want to arrest me on some shit that I didn't even do. I'm walking with some other girl. So I'm mad. I'm talking shit too. They didn't do nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? They just told me to be quiet.
But, but they beat this girl to a point of, I wanted to cry. 